Testament home of the Ark of the Covenant finally discovered? We know from the Old Testament the description of the Ark of the Covenant. It was gold-covered, made of wood. It contained two stone tablets that were inscribed with the Ten Commandments, handed from God to Moses. It also had the rod of Aaron, the budding rod, and also had a bowl of manna inside it. And it has long inspired treasure hunters and historians, archaeologists, to look for it as to where it could be. It's believed to have been to have been disappeared around 600 BC, 587 BC, when Jerusalem was destroyed by the invading Babylonians. Archaeologists from Tel Aviv University believe to have found a stone slab that recalls the one on which the biblical Ark of the Covenant once sat. The Ark, described in the first book of Samuel, said to have contained the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, which were handed from God to Moses on Mount Sinai during the exodus from Egypt. The team was led by Dr. V. Letterman and his colleague, Professor Shlomo Bunimovitz, and uh, they say that they made the discovery in an ancient temple not far from Jerusalem in Beth Shemesh, as reported by Israeli uh, newspaper Hearts. The 3,100-year-old holy site was under excavation since 2012, but it was not only in the summer of 2018 that the earth, it was only then, summer of last year, that archaeologists unearthed a massive stone slab resting horizontally on two smaller rocks, which they initially believed to be a dolmen, such as those standing stones that we find around the world. Letterman said, at the beginning, we thought it was a maseba that had fallen over, but soon we realized that it was meant to be a table. According to the researchers, the analysis of this table suggests it might be the large stone on which the Ark of the Covenant rested when it was brought to Beth Shemesh after being recovered from the Philistines. And according to the Holy Bible, after the Israelites settled in the Promised Land, the Ark was placed in Shiloh, north of Jerusalem, but was later captured by the Philistines. God then punished the Philistines, afflicting them with illnesses and plagues until their leaders uh, were forced to return the holy artifact, the uh, Ark of the Covenant back to the Jews. This would be a rare case, they said, in which we can merge the biblical narrative with an archaeological find. This is what Dr. V. Letterman claimed to Hart's mag uh, newspaper. He said, this is something special. The structure was mysterious and originally discovered by the archaeologists dated to the 12th century BC. It's located on a tell, a little hill, the remains of multiple ancient settlements just outside of today's Israeli city, Beth Shemesh, which is 20 kilometers west of Jerusalem. And it stands apart from other residential areas. It had sturdier walls, and its shape was a perfect square, each side being 8.5 meters long. The structure facing east where the sun rises opened onto a platform commonly used for religious ceremonies. Now inside this temple, this ancient temple, archaeologists supposed uh, they found the two round concave stones with gutters carved into them, which were possibly used for libations of wine or perhaps miniature olive presses to produce sacred oil. This is according to Letterman. Researchers also found remnants of decorated pottery jugs and cups, besides a pile of animal bones, all signs of ritual practices, according to Professor Shlomo Bunimovitz. The archaeologist said, there is a lot of evidence that this was indeed a temple. It's very clear that this was this, uh, not just a standard domestic space, but something special was taking place here. And then there was an act of hostility. At some point in the mid-12th century BC, the building was destroyed. The pottery vessels were smashed to bits. The team dug through layers of thick, dark substance to uncover what they believe was a temple a scientist had a surprise in store for them. The analysis of this material in this uh, ritual place was not ash from when it was set on fire, 
as they originally thought, but it was heaps of animal dung. Very shortly after it was destroyed, the entire place was turned into an animal pen. You know, a, a, a stable type of thing. To me, this is an act of hostility, an intentional desecration of a holy place, Letterman said in his publication. Uh, we, saw, we see this also in the churches of uh, Constantinople in Turkey, churches which were there for thousands of years, uh, you know, thousand plus, until the uh, Ottoman Empire, you know, until the fall of uh, Constantinople there. And uh, they turned the churches into uh, stables for pigs and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're saying, okay, well, Muslims don't have pigs. Well, I saw pictures of a church that was recently renovated, re uh, rededicated, and it was a pig, it was a pigsty, it was a, a stable for pigs. Um, and of course, they have uh, their dung everywhere. And it was, uh, they didn't care what it was before, it was... Um, not respected, and it was turned into a stable. So that happened in the past as well, as we can see here. And based on biblical chronology, the 12th, 11th century BC, Beth Shemesh was a border town between the Israelites and the Philistines, and the two people, as we know, often cr clashed. Archaeologists identified four distinct villages, built one above the other, showing that the place had been conquered, destroyed, rebuilt many times in the space of just 200 years, and most likely responsible for the desecration were the conquered Philistines, say the researchers, as their closest settlement, Tel Batash, was just seven kilometers from Beth Shemesh, very close that is, would take you an hour to walk it. Uh, so is it possible to prove that the Ark indeed rested on this stone table? Archaeologically, Letterman says that conceding that there are several inconsistencies between the biblical story and what they found in Beth Shemesh, he said this is no way diminishes the significance of this find, and it only adds to the fascination that the Ark of the Covenant has wielded over researchers, treasure hunters alike for generations. The biblical lore believes to have disappeared, that is, the Ark of the Covenant disappeared, in 587 BC, when Jerusalem was destroyed by the invading forces of Babylon, and people have been looking for it since. And regarding its possible whereabouts, from where it remained hidden beneath the Temple Mount Jerusalem, to being guarded by a tribe in Africa, in Ethiopia, who knows? It's still a mystery. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.